We're here at the National Demolition Association event in Austin, Texas. We have our virtual reality simulator. We're actually simulating a wheel loader. You use an Oculus, which is kind of like glasses that you wear, uh, to place yourself in a 3D environment. With our VR technology, uh, we've used this tool for operator training, making operators ready for the environment they're going to work in. We're here in Austin, Texas, at the National Demolition Association Live Demo. Kamatsu is very excited to be here. We recognize the importance of demolition and infrastructure development in North America. We look forward to people coming to visit and having an actual opportunity to run our machines in true applications. Demolition is a very tough application. Our machines are known for longevity. The whole key with demolition is figuring out the correct size tool for the job and then backing into the size of the excavators. We have a 490 with a second member shear. So for larger structural components, I-beams, large steel pieces, excellent for sorting, sizing, demolition scrap for transport off the job. I think it's great, you know, people like me who don't get to run machines, I sit behind a desk, so it was a good experience to get to learn what other people that I know do for, you know, their living. Yeah, that's what you're here for, right? For the experience. The 390 has a pulverizer, so for concrete blocks, concrete structures, excellent for pulverizing, sorting the rebar out from the material, putting the rebar off to the side for uh, recycling, and then pulverizing and sizing solid concrete into aggregate or granular material. We have a 290 with a contractor uh, grapple on it. This is a uh, three into two contractor grapple with a rotation. This material here happens to be compacted steel scrap, so really good for sorting on a demolition job. That attachment is very good as far as picking up bundles of rebar. It's got very good grip on it. It opens pretty big. Komatsu's are very fast machines, and we use those all the time. They're very reliable machines. I want people to take away from the fact that we're involved in the demolition business and then to just the opportunity to feel controllability, feel stability, and then actually run these machines with tools on them in a demolition application.